Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode. Actually, it's a Photography 101 episode. <clears throat> ring, ring. That was a fake phone ring. Hello? Oh, hello, BFF. What can I do for you? What? Your child's having a baptism tomorrow and a dark church that doesn't allow flash photography? And you want me to take the pictures? You do? Well, I know it's an honor. But you realize that my camera is an old camera. And the top ISO is only 1600. I guess I could push it to 3200 if I use that H1 feature, but that's going to cause a lot of noise in the picture. What? You don't understand that? And you don't care? And you want me to do it anyway? Oh. All right, you are my BFF. I guess I'm going to have to do the best I can. All right, goodbye. Wow, that was a difficult fake phone call. It's a good thing I have my keep calm and carry on cup with me today. Well, what are we going to do? Well, today we're going to look at how do you deal with using really high ISOs that create a lot of noise in your picture using a simple photo ed editor like Photoshop Elements? And uh, so let's get to it. Okay, we're going to open up this NEF file or this RAW file. Again, I'm normally not a RAW file user, but because of this extremely bad lighting situation, we've got to go with RAW. And I'm actually going to open with an old version of Photoshop Elements just to show you that you can even use an old version of, of the more simple software. So here we are, and you can see that uh, we have lots and lots of noise in this picture. And obviously this is not a baby. This is one of my wonderful children who kindly put up with my antics and uh, let me take pictures of them and do all sorts of things. So let's zoom in on her. And you can see it's just full of all sort of chromatic noise and luminance noise. It's just an absolute mess. So we're going to go back out and we're going to do a couple of simple things just to show you that we can do that. First of all, we're going to use the leveling tool, and, and just even in the simple program, we're going to level the photo, hit enter, get down there. We're also going to crop this picture a little bit, and to do that, we're going to just bring this in like that, and like that, and crop the picture again. Eh, that's actually, I don't know if I like that crop too much, so we're going to include her arm there. <laughs> <laughs> so very simply we're going to just use a few tools here we're going to adjust the white balance now we're going to actually convert this to black and white because that will mask a lot of the defects but i think if you you have a good white balance it makes the black and white picture look a little bit better or maybe adjust the tint down a little yeah, a little bit down there too and we're going to add just a touch of clarity to the picture which is like a mid-range contrast we're going to go to the next tab up here, and we have two controls. One control is this color noise reduction. Let me show you what happens if we bring it down. It just gets noisier. In fact, let's zoom in on my daughter's face. Maybe zoom out just a little notch. And you can see that there's quite a bit of noise. So we want to bring that, well, we're going to do luminate. We'll bring that up just a little bit to get rid of that noise. We'll go around there. And then we're going to use the luminance control to get rid of all of this luminance noise. And we're going to have to push it really far. Um, and it's going to get rid of a lot of the detail, but it's still going to look better than if we just leave all that noise in there. So it's kind of like looking a little bit like an oil painting, but if we go down a little bit, a little bit noisy, it's just really a preference on your part. I'm going to go up a little bit because uh, that's what I prefer. Again, let's look at that noise situation. We'll bring it down. Why too much noise? Right about there is where we want it. We're going to go back to this first tab. and We're going to bring down the color saturation, turn basically into a black and white picture. And if you look closely, you can see that we still have some distortion down here and here. We'll take care of that in the editor. So we go to our editor. We are now in the editor, and we're going to zoom again to the... Um, 
my daughter's face. And where is that face? Bring it down. And normally you would want to sharpen facial, uh, facial features, but because of this distortion, I'm going to actually want to blur them. So I'll go to the blur tool. And we're at a pretty, like a 29% blur, kind of soft blur. So I'm going to blur that. I'm going to blur up here. I'm going to blur around her nose. I'm basically trying to mask these defects. And actually, I'm going to blur right there, too. Again, not sharpening. Normally, I would sharpen. But, um, but we're really trying to make this picture as passable as possible. Because don't forget, we're pretending this is a child's baptism picture. And we want that child to look good. As I look up here, do I see anything? Uh, maybe a little blurring there. And then we go around here, a little blurring up here and here. Again, it's not going to be perfect. It's just sort of the way it is. This is an imperfect picture. Um, so then we're going to zoom out a little bit. And I am going to add just a little bit of shadow by using the burn tool. And we need to kind of expand that up a little bit. So we're making it just a little bit bigger. Very, very soft. Exposure range about 15%. Maybe even a little bit bigger than that. I'm just going to add to the shadow here just a tiny bit. Just to add in here. Just to add a little definition. That's way too much. Get rid of that. I don't know if I like that. We'll get rid of it. Okay, so now let's go all the way out. And you can see, although it's not the sharpest picture in the world, it's not too bad. So let's save it and look at the difference. Let's do a save as. And we're going to save to the desktop. And we'll call this Baptism 2, because I already have a Baptism 1 up there replace it because I already did that. Oh, it's currently open. We'll have to call it something else. Let's call it Baptism 3. <laughs> All right, and we're going to save that to the desktop. High quality, and there it goes. Let's go to Photoshop Elements. And so here is Baptism 3. This is what we did. Here is the original image, kind of side to side. And you can see, look at the difference. Now, we could not use that first image. I'm not saying that the second image is the sharpest and clearest image on the planet, but it certainly is very usable. Um, by just doing some simple things. By shooting in RAW, again, I normally don't do that, but this would be a case where I would do it. By using the uh, RAW mode in Photoshop Elements, and I deliberately used an older version to show you that it could be done. By adding some simple corrections, uh, we get a quite usable picture. And converting it to black and white gets rid of some more of those sins of the picture. Not too bad, really. Well, there you have it. Obviously, you don't get a perfect picture, but you get a much more usable picture using some simple things in Photoshop Elements and using a raw image. Now, normally I always shoot in JPEG, but sometimes you just have to shoot in raw, and this would have been one of the examples. Thanks so much for watching, and if you get some time, please give my podcast a listen. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. It's free on iTunes and other podcatching sites. And as always, have a great day.